Hi friends, this is Miss Bonnie. I'm here today to do a couple of experiments with you guys. Let's see if you can try them at home maybe. The first one, we already did it at school, but I'm going to show you guys again just in case you weren't at school that day. I'm going to put these aside. We're going to use this one for the second one. For our first experiment, we need pepper, a little bit of water and dish soap. This is the secret ingredient for both experiments. So I'm going to put water on a plate so it goes all the way so it spreads out. And now I'm going to put a little bit of uh, pepper on it, in it. So I'm going to sprinkle a little bit on top. I hope you can see it from home. There we go. After that, I'm going to put one little drop of dish soap on my finger. Do you remember that we imagined that our finger that we were washing our hands when we put soap on them. And what were the, what was the pepper? Do you remember? It was the germs. So if you wash your hands, look what happens to the germs. I'm gonna move this one over here. I'm gonna put my finger right up in there. Ready? All the germs run away from the soap. I hope everybody's washing their hands a lot at home. Put some more soap on my hands. Okay, so that was just a recap from our vid our experiment that we did at school. And this other one, it's kind of like an experiment and kind of like an art project. I'm going to do it a couple of times because I really like it. For this one, you're also going to need dish soap. This is our secret ingredient. Remember, you won't need water. You're going to need a little bit of milk and food coloring. I have these four little colors. I have yellow, blue, red, and green. So, oh, you know what? Also a good idea is to use some toothpicks for this one. If you have them at home, if not, you can choose, use your finger too. I'm going to use some toothpicks. So the same thing, we're going to pour a little bit of our milk in our plate and then add a few drops of food coloring. A little bit of milk. Doesn't have to be a lot, just enough for it to spread out on the plate. And then what color should I use? What's your favorite color? Green? Red? Of these four colors, you know, my favorite one is blue. So I'm going to start with the blue one. And I might mix another one with it. I'm going to put a couple of drops of blue. Three drops. And then I'll add the yellow one. Just one in the middle. Okay. And now with my toothpick, this is so I drop, I put only one little drop. I put my toothpick inside the soap. the drops fall in. Did you see? How the the food coloring starts moving around. I think I'm going to do one a little bit closer so you guys can see better. Okay, so I set up three more plates. I put you guys a little bit closer so you can w watch it while I'm doing it. 
let's put a little bit more color in them. So I'm gonna put green in these two. And then I'm gonna put a little blue also. Let's put some blue on this one. Now let's add some yellow. And a little bit of red. Okay. Are we ready? I'm gonna grab my toothpick again. And do it one at a time. Dropping a little drop. over here do you see how the soap makes the milk dance This one right here is still going. What kind of patterns can you, can you make at home? What kind of designs is your milk going to make? Maybe you can take some pictures of it and share it with us. Okay, well that was it for our two experiments together. I hope you guys have some fun with your dancing milk. And I hope you guys are remembering to wash your hands lots and lots of times. Okay.